Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's really fortunate that we were over here filming today because it just so happens a couple of our show trucks or our custom trucks have showed up and they're piggybacked like what we had talked about in previous videos. So what's really cool about these, if you guys want to follow me over here, I'm going to kind of show you how this works. Essentially what they do when these trucks are ready from the factory, they'll pull the stacks, they put the stacks in the sleepers. And when they, uh, when they piggyback these trucks, what they do is they use these saddles that connect to the fifth wheel of the lead truck. So I'm gonna take a look at this right here. Essentially, that's what's called the saddle right there. It hooks right into the fifth wheel, and then they pin that to the front axle of the uh, of the piggyback's truck. And they got to make sure all the air is up and everything like that on these trucks, uh, these 389s. They're real specific because if you don't, you'll actually get some hood rub on the on the front side of it. That's something we dealt with a lot in the past. Um, so yeah, they'll air up all the airbags, everything like that. And then they'll set them up on top of there and they bring them to us, you know, three at a time. If you're doing day cabs, you can actually get four on a total piggyback set. But the crane's on its way, or the uh, the rotator truck. Basically what they're gonna do is uh, come in here, they'll have a rotator uh, tow truck. He'll back up to the front, uh, front truck there and pick it up a little bit so they can release all the tension on these uh, rear axles. And once they, uh, once they lift this one up, that truck will pull out and then they'll do it again with the, uh, the second truck here. the tow truck just showed up he's gonna move his rotator boom around and they've got these straps set on the front pins that are hooked into the frame on the, on the rear truck what they'll do is they'll uh, pull that up and release some of the tension they'll get the u-bolts released and then uh, once that truck is lifted up off the lead truck they'll pull this this uh, whole assembly out here and they'll just set it down so uh, let's, let's watch and see how this goes step back here is they're putting the chalks under the tires so that way when they lift it up it doesn't roll backwards and the reason you got to chalk them rear tires is because they uncage the brakes whenever they uh or they cage the brakes whenever they leave from the factory so that way it turns that rear uh, axle loose and uh basically what cages those brakes i'll show you guys here in just a minute we'll get a little closer to it there's this little uh bolt that comes in and it's a single pin that turns and uh where they fasten down this bolt and it cages the brake and that makes it to where that rear axle can turn loose on it. Yeah, you watch this.
getting in the lead truck he's about to pull out and basically everything should be loose from that rear truck and they'll just uh he'll just slide on out from under that there and he'll be able to set it down all right nice and easy Everything went real smooth. We're gonna set this truck down and then uh, they'll, they'll proceed to start putting the stacks and so on and so forth on it. And then uh, start going through the full PDI inspection. sat down they just now released everything on the second truck the driver's getting ready to pull out and then the tow truck driver is going to go ahead and let that down as soon as they figure that how to start a brand new beater bag. show you guys if you want to walk over this way we'll uh, show you guys how that works uh, essentially it's like I said from active transport what they do is they uh, they cage the brakes from uh, from Denton Texas so that way this rear axle will roll the whole time because you know it's it's uh, when it's set up on the piggyback this rear axle is really the only thing that touches the ground so if you look right here these brake chambers they have a big bolt sticking out of them right there so that big bolt it's actually got a little storage space right on the side of the brake chamber but that bolt right there it pulls apart the brake chamber so that way it actually kind of activates almost the same way like when you when you hit your air brakes and send air back to these chambers essentially what's happening in there is this air chamber is filling up and it's releasing the brakes well that bolt it pulls on the top of that same chamber and kind of uh, essentially does the exact same thing it just makes it to where these rear axles can roll freely so that way when they get this thing stacked up they just you know rolls completely free has no issues whatsoever and as you can see they chain up this rear axle or this front axle right here so that way whenever it goes piggyback the suspension doesn't unload and then it's also you know touching both of these onto the ground it wants to keep this one off the road and this one's on the road so you can see this is a brand new tire here you know it's still got the little uh nipples on it from where it was in the in the machine but this tire has been worn out because it's got roughly 500 miles on it from Denton, Texas so not really worn out just worn in worn in it's broken a little bit it's just it's it's ready she's ready to go and there's the chains he's talking about right here holding that axle up all right so now He's going to go around and start taking off the chains, off the axles, and so on and so forth. you got to release a little bit of the tension on one of the axles to get that chain to come undone. Uh, outside of that, that was pretty much, that's how you undeck a truck in a nutshell, in case any of you guys were actually curious about that. But this is how we received the trucks from Denton, Texas. And uh, as you saw in the previous videos, we got a lot of stuff to unwrap, got a lot of plastic. Yeah, we got a lot to do. We got three more custom trucks that just hit the ground. On top of the four we already had here, our place is about to be slammed. We got a lot of work to do. You guys know what to do if you want to follow along with these builds. You need to like, subscribe, go over to Instagram, find us at, at semi casual show, and follow along. These are going to be some really cool builds, and I can't wait to get started.